Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to State of the Yankees. All things baseball, all things Yankees. New York Yankees baseball, that is. Wahoo! I've been a diehard fan of the Yankees for over 20 years. I love talking about baseball, uh, but particularly the Yankees in particular. And it's not just the, the game I love, but I also love the analytics behind it, as well as the human element and the things that go into the game and some of the indicators and predictions and box scores and everything that determine whether or not a player is good, whether or not a player can succeed in a given city, whether or not a, a player can help the Yankees or hurt the Yankees, um, whether an acquisition by another team affects the Yankees. <laughs> you can kind of see my trend there. So today is Sunday, September 16th. The game, the rubber match against the Toronto Blue Jays and New York Yankees has not yet started. It's about 15 minutes from now, game time, 1 p.m. But I wanted to briefly get you up to speed with the current state of the Yankees. They are uh, on the third game rubber match, as I mentioned, of the three game set with the Toronto Blue Jays. The first game, they crushed the Blue Jays by a large margin. The second game, they dug the bear themselves into a huge hole and came within one run of coming back all the way. Now, the Blue Jays are going absolutely nowhere this year. They are playing for pride and to play the spoiler and to play for jobs next year. So the fact that the Yankees were not able to take advantage of so many bases loaded opportunities to come back and win the game says a lot about the state of the Yankees team right now. Sure, when you have someone like Tanaka on Friday go lights out, then the, it gives the team a lot of confidence to either pound away at a rookie pitcher who's not really having a good year, or to peck away at a really good pitcher and, and squeak a run, a run across. But yesterday, when you're when your pitcher buries you in a hole early on, it's just so much harder to score runs or come back. It's not even funny. Uh, can it be done? Absolutely. And a strong enough team, they're, they're never, ever out of it. Look at the Houston Astros or the Boston Red Sox this year. They are teams that are built for the offense who can score a run on any pitcher's mistakes. And some of the fundamentals about those two teams that, that, you know, over the last, this year, and particularly, and some last year, is the fact that they are a, particularly adept at getting on base. Fundamentally, if you can get guys on base, then that makes any other hit so much more damaging. Let's say, for example, you got a pitcher or a hitter who gets hits a home run. That's one run if, if the bases are empty. But if you get even one guy on, you've now doubled the impact that has. Imagine being down by one run, having a guy on from a walk, then somebody hits a home run. All of a sudden, with one hit, you're now going from behind to ahead. Granted, it's only by one run, but it has such an impact. It is such a game changer to have men on base, to be able to bring those men on. I've seen so many occasions where you would have three men on, no outs, and they can't bring the runner in. That can be both the fault of the hitters, maybe going through a slump, but more to the point that's usually a credit to the pitcher being able to deal under pressure. So, having said that, um, I have high hopes for the Yankees to win this series. Let's say two out of three, but they really should be in a position to sweep. I should have been in a position to sweep it because yesterday there was really no real excuse for falling to the Blue Jays this late in the season, especially when you are in a dogfight with the Oakland Athletics for the wild card game to host it. And here's the thing. Before All-Star break, we were a perennial team. We were right up there. We were just knocking them out of the park, winning left and right. And by saying winning left and right, I mean you're taking a minimum two out of three from every series. You're winning series. We were going into the All-Star break the second best record in the major leagues, both conferences, both leagues. And we've been playing 500 ball since the All-Star break. Two and a half months of 500 ball. We're lucky to still be in this thing. And I, you can make all the excuses in the world about injuries or they don't have it today or their command wasn't there or anything else. 
but fundamentally, 500 balls is going to have you sitting on the on the couches. Even if you do manage to to coast into the wild card game, playing this inconsistently, it's just not going to cut it. Especially when the Oakland A's are fending off the Seattle Mariners five games back of them and chasing the Houston Astros to get out of the wild card game themselves. If they can overtake the Houston Astros a couple games ahead of them, then now they're playing Cleveland for the divisional series and completely pass the wild card game, which winner take all. Then, of course, the Yankees, if they would then be subject to either being watching the playoff postseason altogether from home or playing somebody else. Maybe the Houston Astros if, you, if the Oakland A's over, overtake Houston. And you really, really don't want even a home game against the Astros. We did that a few years ago with Tanaka on the mound. And he and Keuchel just absolutely dominated us. We just had nothing we could do against them. I just noticed I had forgot to put my up. It's not real fast. So my prediction for the wild card is we have two. We need to go uh, ten and six just to, or is it nine and six? Now? Nine is not nine and six now to break a hundred wins for the season. Now I would love to see them win a hundred a hundred games because fundamentally they're not playing well enough to go deep into the postseason. Can they write this ship? Absolutely. Do I have faith that they will? No doubt. But I am not seeing that in them right now. They have a chance going into the Tampa Bay four-game home set and then three games against uh, Boston to show that they deserve to be there, that they can do what they did last year and go to the ALCS and take the best team in the game to seven games and this time actually beat them. But they've got to get the ball rolling. So if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. I would love your comments, your questions, uh, any suggestions you have. Be happy to cover everything. In the meantime, enjoy the game. Go Yankees!